Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner on our hard mode series. We are in Alaska, we are in Pedro Bay, picking up where we left off last time. We are in our Royal BM-17, our, our tippy beast. Now we've just finished um, repairing and setting up all the broken pipelines, so we should be good for pretty much getting about the map now. Um, I mean, is that right? Am I right in saying that? Or have we got one more? We may have one more. We may still have one. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. We are going to go and grab the wee jobby that we have in here. <laughs> I was hoping, anyway. Ah, oh, that's, that's what it was. I didn't have my old wheel on. Should be able to get through the snow now. I was going to say, the uh, the royal should be able to get through here. We've got, we've got a wee little something in here. Have we got the job, 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 lost tools? Yep, that's what we want. So we are going to pick up the lost tools, which are there. And we're going to take them back up to the engineer's house. That's our job. That's our job for the day. Um, I think then we were going to try and open up the... I believe it's called the logistics hub or the logistics something service hub maybe this is just over there so we're going to need to get the resources from within um mountain river and that's this kind of where we're at and then we're going to assess the jobs and see what's about come on let's pull ourselves along already trying to rush myself The Royal's a pretty good truck, I can't lie. The Royal is a pretty good truck. It's a shame it's tippy. <laughs> tippy. I've never said that word so much. It's a shame it's tippy and that it doesn't have the, uh, the diff lock. Oh, turn the engine off. And um, yeah, it sort of, sort of lets it down, doesn't it? But I think was, I've said that's, that's how, that's how Sabre try and um, stop or prevent like uh, OP trucks. Like you have a truck that's really good at something but really bad elsewhere or, or missing a certain feature or upgrade or, or what have you and you can't grumble at that there, there is a bit of balancing going on a little bit not a lot but a little bit so we shall pack our cargo there we are restore the crane and onward we go yeah I've been I've been switching my engine off by accident quite a lot lately on uh, especially on my uh, on my console side, I don't know why. Like I'm just turning the engine off instead of whatever it is I think I should be doing, doing instead. So uh, expect that for a little bit. It has again been a week since um, the last record, and I, I tend to record uh, about three. I try to do three or four episodes in one day when I'm recording at the moment. So it has been a week. But it's, um, it's been a, a productive snow run a week elsewhere, though. I think on my console, on my console save that I play in the lounge, I finished Hula, Kola Peninsula. I'm not sure if I finished that or, or mentioned that before. But yeah, I was in Kola. Great map. Loved it. And um, after the struggle of Kola, though, because it weren't easy. I figured I needed some better trucks, so we've gone to the Don on that save. And I'm thinking the Don is where we might go straight after time here. Because we've got some some uh, better Russian trucks when we get to it. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm using I'm using my console journey in normal mode to sort of scout out and see what I want. Try and keep that ahead. And so far ahead that by the time we do anything on this save, I'll have forgotten a lot of it. But just so I can plan out where I want to go more than anything, rather than routes and stuff. Because I've said before, it's completely different. Being able to just reset my trucks and jump about and do stuff is, uh, yeah, nothing like this. But anyway, thank you very much for coming back and uh, continuing to support the journey, su support the channel. Um, I'm 
I'm still really fingers crossed that we can <laughs> get accepted back into the partner program here and, and not have to start over. I am so dubious about putting out fresh content or even more content with how things stand at the moment. It sounds terrible. It really does, but it's just... You know, if, you do, if you're doing this, you, you've got a goal of being able to grow, make a few pennies off it, and, and have a good time. And I think once part of that is taken away from you, the motivation sort of dips. It's just that I'm really enjoying SnowRunner at the minute, so I'm happy to keep pushing this on. And if if we can't get the channel back in you know, we'll just have to start over that's just how it's going to have to be if we do hopefully we'll have said, I said last time if we do have to start over hopefully I get out of Michigan a lot quicker <laughs> there's been a little blip there we go Put me blip on and then didn't even bullet. But yeah. It just weighs on my mind a lot. I've had uh, a few comments on different videos now asking when's more hunting going to come, when's the farming coming back and stuff like that. And, uh, at the minute I'm recording this before um, FS25 launches. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do some live streams on FS25. I'm not sure if I'll do a lot of recorded stuff until I know what's going on with the channel. But obviously, um, Farm Sim FS22 is not being about. I was going to do some live streams and things, but I'm not. I'm not even f like. It sounds silly because it's not. It's not Farm Sim's fault. It's not even like Giant's fault. But if it's the um, the partner stuff that got me booted, then I'm just not feeling the love for Farm Sim at the minute. Like I said before, 22 just didn't grip me like. 17 and 19 did. I'm hoping 25 will. I'm hoping for there'll be something about 25. Um, at the point of recording this, this week, um, Giants have been sh showcasing the uh, the NPCs, shall we call it. I don't think um, many people are impressed with that. So sort of you get excited about, oh, what's coming, what's coming, they show a few good things, and then they just before release, rather than showing you more better gameplay, they show you some crappy NPCs that come across as sex pests. Um, spare parts, there we go. Job done. 1500 in the back. This is why I need to turn the engine off to not waste fuel. Right, so our next job is so we've got pole down, two wood planks. Um, we can get wood planks from here. We could even have a little bit of fun with the... That's what I was going to do. I think I was going to use the ANK for that. But I'm not sure what ties the ANK has. I bet they're not very good. And then uh, moving the stock, which is... An oil barrel, which is here. And to, oh, wait there. So if we go oil barrel, two wooden planks, and then two wooden planks for the pole, we do that in one hit, shouldn't we? We should be able to do that in one hit. And that could be our thing. Apologies if you hear any noise in the background. My partner's just got back with the little one after dropping the big one off at school. We are down in early morning recording. Treating ourselves. So, we'll grab some fuel as well while we're here. There we go. I do need to get the ANK though. At some point, it might get used for a job later on. 
be a shame to not use it. It's just what is a shame is that it's not the uh, civilian version and we can take the back off and put something else on there. That is what the real shame is. So now we need four planks is what we want. And then we can do those two jobs. That was some of the worst reversing you would have ever seen. Uh, the episode today might be a little bit shorter than normal because I think we ran an extra hour and a half just to uh, get that pipe pipeline repair delivery thing done last time out. It was about half past eight when we finished, and we've been, we've been aiming for seven, but I don't think we've <laughs> we finished near seven at all yet in Alaska. We always run a little bit more or a little bit less to try and uh, complete a job, I think. Been impressed with how well the Royal has been uh, has been working out. Hate to jinx it, but I'm super impressed. I haven't tipped it yet. I am being as careful as I can with it. There we go. <laughs> That's why I should have said nothing. Look at this. We're all right. We're all right. Here you go. I just don't think it'll see much love after uh, Alaska. Like it's it's not <laughs> good enough to warrant bringing it through uh, somewhere else. I don't think. Like if, if you're going to spend however much it costs to uh... come on, I just want that tree underneath me to break. That's naughty. That that is naughty. I'll set the winch up and we'll go back about 10 feet and it'll it'll break I hope proper noy okay be like that be like that what we got over here on this side Can I attach to the tree beneath me and break it? Nope. Oh, that is being... I'm going to say it again. Noi. Being noi. That tree underneath us. Is it even the tree that we caught on? Strange. We're just sort of on a on a bit of a pivot here, aren't we? Just as I was singing its praises. Doesn't want to move at all. How oh, strange. Oh, this is gonna hamper the plans, isn't it? Come on. There we go. Just wasn't playing ball, was it? And then we're going to get stuck on that tree. Oh, come on! Oh, now it, now it's broke. See, that's what we were waiting for.
dodgy cameras. Yeah, we just need just needed it to break. It wasn't having it at all. See back just trundling along. Yeah, just as I was seeing its praises. Again, it's not really a royal problem, that is it's a that was an environment problem. Not wanting to play ball with us. Probably put the anchor on here just because it is the royal. And we will save ourselves a little penny since we've got four of them. We'll save ourselves a penny and we'll pop them on. It's just a little bit of a tedious thing. That's, that's my only issue with it, is that I'm slow and messy with it. I would prefer it if you could just drop. Look, there's enough space on there for four. Maybe even five, if you just order the lot at once, then just pick them up and grab them. It's the coming in and out of the menu thing. I think that annoys me more. That bit. It's not going to change, you know. <laughs> They're not going to do anything about that. But it's a shame. There we are. All right. Deliveries, my friends, deliveries. Now I think the Royal will be fine going across the river shortcut around the corner. It should be. I think the last time I was here doing this was probably with a GMC Brigadier. I quite like the Brigadier here. Yeah, I think my last run in Alaska was um, Brigadier and Royal partnering the uh, the Lodestar and the uh, Derry Longhorn. And an ANK civilian, because I could put the uh, low hitch on it and pull my fuel trailers. That is the advantage of being able to sell um, trucks for full price and then buying another one. It's like, if there's a version of it, or a different model maybe, that you prefer you can. So like with the ANK, yes. Again, can be a bit tippy, and is a bit thirsty. But if once you can trade out some things like with the uh, civilian, and you know, change your beds and just make it more compatible with other things, it just seems a little bit more of a worthwhile vehicle. We'll probably jump in it in a minute and try and tow it out with us. Let's get over near that pole. We're going to need that for a little bit of help. Our terrain has reset as well, which is nice. It doesn't always, but it has today. Let's 
So this is where the diff lock would be handy because we're just wasting a lot of fuel by spinning tyres. And we're not moving again. Hmm. Right. Maybe if we put the trailer on the post. On the pole. Just don't want it to tip. Take that massive momentum with us. Did we put a longer winch on? Not really. I forget what winch we've got on here. Probably just the standard. Because the larger ones are quite expensive. But they are... They are handy once you've got them on. Let's see if we can get a screenshot. So we'll edit that out. I'm going to try and remember to take a shot each recording. Sometimes it's easy to grab one in editing for a thumbnail. But if we can't always get the, uh, the symbol to the edge so I can crop it out, it gets annoying. I don't like them. I think you can completely turn them off. I'm not 100% I think you can, but my memory is pretty poor. If we don't have some sort of uh, indicator, I would definitely be in and out of the map a lot more than I already am. So this will then get this up and running. Uh, excellent, we can now begin uh, operations at our new plant, much appreciated. And this then provides you with, and I don't think we need that for anything, I think this is like consumables here? Yeah. Unless maybe consumables are, are used in like uh, the, uh, the big order at the end maybe. It could be where they come into effect. We don't need them yet. Then I think we're, other than the uh, the service hub, I think we're pretty much good in Pedro Bay out of this. So we might might be able to get the service hub done still today, and then have Pedro Bay sort of finished off until we get to logging and um, the big like super orders. hop back, crop, back across and pull uh, some of that fuel through as well. This is one of my free purchase trailers so we can um, delete it. Again, because we can't sell them. We use the free ones, the naughty ones I know. There we are. Let there be light. Finally, thanks for the help. Who knows how long it would have taken them to fix the power. If not for you, we should already get these old poles placed soon. And that's another 1200 in our pocket. So, let's just turn off. See if I look so that is everything done here. So, it's... 
yeah, Cargo Apocalypse, Cargo, Cargo Apocalypse 2 and um, Order Master Supreme. Oil Barrels Delivery Aspect Valley. So that's Timber, Timber, long way to the top, Timber. That's White Valley and that is White Valley. This is us. Two concrete blocks and two consumables. Oh, so we might. Oh, can we get concrete blocks from here? Oh, we can. We don't even have to leave. Okay, excellent. This is working out really nicely. Uh, I haven't even planned this. So the fact that this is all rolling together nicely is just... It's obviously how the map is supposed to be played. We're getting it right this time. Rather than hossing about everywhere. We will probably have to take a little detour to get some fuel though. I just love it when a plan comes together. I have to try and remember concrete blocks and concrete slat. I always get them confused. We definitely want blocks. So I think these are the concrete blocks. Are they the smaller ones or are they the bigger ones? Loading zone is blocked. Oh, I'm too far forwards. There we go. They are the small ones. Excellent. Even easier. Yeah, I always get the blocks and the slabs confused as to which is which. Blocks should be small, slabs are big. It's, it's sort of in the name, but, you know, my brain and all that. I don't know if we've got any fuel trailers around here. I think there was, and I might have pulled it, pulled it away. No, there's just the two big ones, aren't there? Is two, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I should have jammed on the consumables. If I'd have known, I'd have jammed on the consumables. I thought we wanted like metal block or two metal blocks and or two yeah two metal blocks, two metal beams, and two slabs for this, not consumables and concrete blocks. You on there? You on there? Right. Never mind. So I have have given myself a little extra in having to go back, but all good. Wunderbar. It's like they designed that little gap there for reversing into. Maybe they did. See if we can just go in auto for a little bit. See if we can go in high range for a bit. Save a little fuel. Not a lot, but save a little. I need to remember to try and use my high range a bit more. As I do, I've been watching my man Wessel. Go check Wessel out. And he's, I always say he's often in high, high range and just sort of cruising about and I always forget to stick mine in there and save a little fuel. You know, probably could even you know take off all wheel for this bit and it's, it's not difficult and it just saves you just a few extra litres. If it saves you a couple of litres a minute, then that's a couple more minutes driving that you can do. You can get that little bit further. I need to get that stuff in my head get out of the idea of trying to get everywhere as quick as we can. It's just that I know I want to get through the likes of Alaska and tame it quick. Oh. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. I'm going to lose my voice already. I'm only just starting. I've got like another four hours I want to do yet. start getting this uh, queued up into the new year. 
just in case we can keep it going. Oh man. Makes my heart sink just thinking about it. Uh, we should be alright without the crane, I think. I'm just going to have to clear my throat. Okay, let's see how that goes. I wouldn't say it was fine. But I'm normally alright most days. Until it gets to recording and chatting here. Like, I have... Like I've said it many times. I've had issues since I got my second my second dose of the Rona. And, um, yeah, I've just never been able to clear my throat since. And I'm just always hoarse and, and rancid. Apparently that's a bit of the old long COVID. And, um, yeah, it just, just really gets me when I sit here and I start talking. It's not conducive to good content. I can't, I can't lie, it's not conducive to good content. Perhaps I should write a script and get one of those AI things to just talk for me. Sounds like work, though, that does, doesn't it? Hey, if... If YouTube thinks I'm not me and using someone else's content when I speak my own voice, they uh, they're certainly not going to believe I'm me <laughs> when I put an AI if I put an AI vo AI voice in it in it, Rob. So let's not do that. Just have to remember to edit everything out. Yeah, I'm gonna to want to get some fuel. Where's the other fuel trailer? Where is the other fuel trailer? Oh, it is up there, isn't it? Mmm, will I be able to make it? I think I might. I think I might be able to make it. If we go super saver mode, <laughs> high range. Rear wheel drive. I mean, there is a fair bit of um, paved road here. I mean, we're going to bury ourselves in some mud. We'll try and take a better route this time. Trying to get so stuck. Again, it's sort of the uh, the no diff. That raises issues for you. I'm not sure if we're any better if we go down one. Ooh, we've got a lot less spin, and it doesn't look like we're going any sort of slower, so could be alright. Obviously then winching uses up a little bit more fuel. Just sort of to get us through the worst bit. Ooh, wow, it's getting dark, dark. Dark, dark in Pedro Bay. A little bit more power to kick us through it again. Come on, your majesty. Let's get going. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I do tend to travel everywhere in one of the low gears, which isn't always fuel efficient, but nor is all this gear changing.
someone at the door. Hopefully the missus will get that. <laughs> Don't know if you guys heard it. Now doorbell pinging. Ooh. That's not good. We don't want the flat tyres, please, and thank you. When in high range, you're normally uh, a little bit, a little safer from things like that happening. So we must have hit something sharp. Well, that should have been the thing for us. Let's just drop down. I don't want to go this way. I'll flip the map, haven't I? Yeah, I want to go. I want to go this way. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough fuel to make it. Right. Just, um... Let's try and be smart now. Come on, girl. There's loads of fuel when we get to the other end. Got some asphalt soon as well, so... Or at least a little bit of better track. I think it was left. Yeah. There we go. Eighty liters. That's, that's quite a bit, actually, isn't it? Not really. Gives us <laughs> oh no, come on. It's not far. It's all that wasteful wheel spin. Wasteful wheel spin. Come on, get out of this mud. We go back in high range, I think. I should start fitting some more horns as well, so we can blow barriers and stuff out of the way. A few more horns. There we go. Now she's rolling. Oh, we still have... Do we still have the big thing here to pull through? I think we do, don't we? Yeah. I don't think that sort of becomes a thing until a little bit later, though. Right. Excellent. So that is five Gs for us. So thank you very much. Alright, that should be everything we need now. Uh, everything we need. Now we can get this place up and running again. I'm a man of my word, so feel free to drop by whenever you feel... feel blah, 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 whenever you need patching up. Let's get your words out. Let's not make it up. Let's just read it. So... All you have to do here... It should be that all we have to do here... Let's turn around... It would be to drive through and you fix. Does it not work on hard mode? Is that not a thing? Do you not get a free fix or do we just get the one for doing it? Um, just let me into it. So. Ah, so now that's unlocked that. Yeah. And we can't do that. We need a high saddle. 
to, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving our, we're going to move our fuel. We've got a load star here as well. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll move the fuel. Whereabouts is, oh, the Derry's in here, isn't it? So we just jump to the dairy. Just get this get this happening, I think. So we're gonna attach the trailer. Delete the right one. Yeah. Can't do it because of the crane. Oh, that's naughty. Um, I forgot about that. So we need to come back later and get that. Um, what am I doing then? What am I doing then? Yeah, I'll leave that. Let's go get the dairy. Let's go get the dairy. And we'll do that big trailer <laughs> so we've got we've got a service trailer on here as well what's that going so I think that's just for us isn't it and we're pulling it about I think just in case. So, I'm just going to put it on the side here. And we shall um, detach, repair. Should we just check if we need anything? There we go. Handy. A little dribble. Thank you very much. Then we can detach. Get our lights on. What job has that got us on? Oh, bricks in the river. Okay. We're saving that, I guess. Saving that for the way back through. What we will do is just grab our job. So we've just got to deliver it here. To the factory, which is... You know... Oh! Pretty easily done. Let's get rid of that. Because that'll annoy me. Yeah, so what we'll try and do is get the dairy up to the coil. And then maybe try and get the BM and the MK to the entrance so we can get them out. Along with the Lodestar. I was hoping I've got a high saddle on here and not a low saddle. I think it's a high saddle, isn't it? It is a shame you can't grab them tank that's with a crane on the back, but I guess it's fair. It's fair. Well, that means you have to go all the way to a garage 
to come back and do stuff. Um, I don't know why. I, I just I just do it. If I drive past, I do. I grab some fuel. But you don't need to see that. Again, apologies for any noise in the background. It's just little people. They do that, they make noise. I think it's just diff on. Everything's always on on here. I forget. We should have a, a decent, clear route through now. I know I keep banging on about the AA, <laughs> gay civilian. Um, I don't think the civilian was added in until later on, though. I think that was sort of action. I don't think that was there from the start. I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you know, correct me. But I'm sure. I'm sure that was added later on. I'm not sure with which map. I think it was, which is strange if it was because. Uh, the load screen for here is an AK civilian pulling a massive fuel trailer. One that's not in this map. <laughs> so there's a fuel trailer that's not in this map and a truck that maybe wasn't available at the time as the load screen for <laughs> the Pedro Bay. Quite possibly. Boys is going croaky again. Tell I don't it's because I don't talk much. Unless I'm talking to you guys, I don't talk much. I'm quite 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 non non talker. That fuel consumption so low. Below seven. It's gonna go up in a minute. Can you power through in high gear? So something I never try, I'd normally always switch it down. Just gotta have confidence in the vehicles. You've got momentum, you're going nicely. Got decent tyres on, just let it go. The the other mud pit, we're definitely gonna need to uh, <laughs> switch gears up a little but that one we would go to and as mentioned before this 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 dairy longhorn is not necessarily a popular one I mean the 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 newer longhorn is better and then there's the dairy special that comes in later on all, all considered better trucks but I, I I like this one I've got no problem with it has a nice uh, wrap as well. Doesn't matter if the truck's bad, if it's got a good wrap, it's all good. Facts. Facts about gaming. <laughs> and vehicles. It's got, the, it's got the Phoenix on. It's cool.
And while we're trundling along, I'll let you we'll talk about my thoughts for where to go in future as well. Um, I was considering hitting Tennessee pretty early in the series and just getting that out of the way. I'm not sure if I spoke this already before. Um, but I'm thinking now that because there's nothing of real, real use in Tennessee that I'll most likely stay away from it until that'll probably be the last place we go because the vehicles you get there we're not going to use um, I've been told that because I thought there was going to be a lot of fuel there because it's you know, racing orientated um, I have been told that there's not an abundance of fuel and not an abundance of money to be earned there so <clears throat> excuse me so um, yeah that, that probably won't won't happen like that now that'll probably be saved to last which is a shame it's been a nice quick easy one map literally, literally the region is just one map it's, it's a fair size one but it's one map and I don't think there's a massive amount of um, contracts and jobs on it. So it'd been like one that felt like we were progressing because we could do it so quick. But I think because there's nothing major to gain from it, I don't think we will. You know, unless I was saying, unless they add in another race orientated um, map in in the current season. This, season 4 that they're doing but even then you just put them both together at the end wouldn't you so that you've got the got the stuff so as we now have two farming maps thanks to the uh, Austria edition as well as um, the uh, is it South Southeast Asia what am I doing? Attached trailer there we go, wasting fuel is what I'm doing so let's Jump back in the royal. Let's get you down at the entrance. Just so then we can have uh, a nice bit of daylight to do the uh, the coil delivery in. I just think that'll look nicer in its own little thing rather than probably doing half of it now. We, we may we may well have been able to get it all done, but we've done we've done a couple of jobs. And uh, let's let's get these vehicles out and ready to go on to their next job. So yes, instantly stick it in, in low gear plus. Unnecessarily. Don't need to. Such just such a habit that I have. But a region that I did really enjoy, as I've, as I've already mentioned, was the Don. I absolutely I loved it. I like I liked it. it was quite, quite small and compact, but the challenge of, on there was like quite large deliveries. So uh, we, we might hit that quite early on. We're going to go there before we do Cola and Amore, that's for certain, because it has some trucks that are going to help us in Cola and Amore. See, not not as capable as the Derry Longhorn in the snow, <laughs> but we expected that. Perhaps if we just leave the all wheel on, leave the all wheel and just put it in high, we'll compromise. Yeah, I'm still around about six, seven. We could even treat ourselves to a little in-cab, since it's re Ooh, <laughs> bird flew through the window, since it's relatively safe on this journey. We don't do a lot of in-cab, especially in the Royal, because um, she bounces and she rolls. It's a shame there isn't somewhere here where we could just get rid of that crane. Just detach it and leave it on the side of the road, to could get it later.
try and be mindful of the time. We're probably getting close to time, actually. With it getting daylight. Let's just have a quick check. Uh, we've got a little bit of time. We've got a few minutes. We've got a few minutes. Let's keep it going. I went out of cab just to check if it was as as bright as I thought it was because obviously it's dim dimmed down through the dirty windshield. I guess I could have stuck my head out. Look, that's nice. Such a beautiful game. So, what I say a lot, when it's going well, it is so chilled, such a relaxing experience. When it's not, oh, it's brutal. <laughs> that's uh, one of the loves of the game. Where you have to be careful, get a bit brave and start to take the embankment in the royal, and that's when you end up on your side or your roof. Maybe what I'll do is just stick this to the side here and then the, the MK can come and join it when I collect it up and then I'll tow them both through. I think that's what we'll do. We'll put it there so it's out of the way and we'll have that be our day. It's just about time. And then we'll start next time. We'll do the big coil and then we'll pull our trucks through and then we'll maybe tackle um, bricks in the river or something like that before moving on to uh, White Valley. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.